Okay, back we are again. So I have three colors here. I've got a lovely violet powder and a really pretty froggy frog green powder and a champagne color. Now these pigments are all powder mica pigments. They don't have names yet, but I am working on testing um, different colors to see how they work with resin. And then hopefully I'll be able to distribute them so that everybody can can try them and see how wonderful they are. But at the moment it's all at a testing stage. So but you can get pigments, micro pigments, powder pigments, anywhere. You can order them online. Um, just be careful if you're getting things from China. They, um, they are not always the best quality. But you can, I've done a video um, just uh, doing a resin painting with... Um, mica from china that was uh, one instance that i got some really great pigments and then i forgot who the seller was and i could never find another good one again so but not to say but you can use perlex they they are just wonderful you know they're just a little bit pricey but um they they do work so just mixing Mixing, mixing, mixing. So once I've mixed them, I'll come back and then we'll continue with the pour. Okay, now that I've mixed the colors, I'm gonna start placing them. And I think what I wanna do is use this pipette, which I have cut already a couple of times. So, but it still works, so waste not, want not right. So I'm just trying to, I think I'm gonna put this lovely green, it'll be quite transparent so I'm just going to put it around the wings and fit it in there um, I wanted this color because I want the wings and the, the dragonfly to stand out from, from the rest so it's such a pretty color this one it's a little bit pearly which we don't mind. We'll come up there a little bit and then go down. Down there. Whoop. That was a bit of a slip up. So what you can do is so I went across up there a bit too far, so I'm just pushing it out of the way now, like so. Alrighty, so let's keep going with this one. So around there, so I can just do it from a distance and then help bring it in a little bit. You can pour if you want. That's fine. I just do it this way because I think I have better control. And as I go, I can squeeze some more out. And now I can go around with my stick and just bring it up as close as possible. Maybe go up there a little bit. here get get rid of some of that and bring this a little bit closer so once I get 
some of my clear and pop it over the, the wings that should help push that um, and help this a little bit it'll just push away that green so it doesn't look like he's drowning in there so that's pretty so it's just all gonna fit in nicely See how it's pushing, it's pushing it away a bit. And that's what you want. You can always fix that. I'm just dragging it across because I've got a bit too much there. Just share with the other wing a little bit. You know, I'm really not a green color person. I don't really paint a lot with green, but this is such a pretty green, I have to say. Okay, so that's all sorted now. Bring that to the edge now. And like that. That looks better and I've got to do a little bit on this tail as well I'm just going to gently pull that down I might have to there we go just very very gently because I don't want to mess that bit up but there you go messed it up all good. The resin that I'm using, I forgot to mention, is Aldex Clear Cast. So it's measured by weight, which is really cool because it's easy, easy to uh, to do it all in one cup, you know. Okay, so now I can go around with this stick which has some green on it and just move that green around a bit push it out of the way here okay right so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more of that green around using my pipette bit there, bit there, so it resembles a bit of a pond or something, you know. Okay, now that we did that, I'm going to go around with this lovely, um, like a champagne colour and just go in between. Like I said, you can pour if you want to. I'm quite happy to fiddle. So you can do this kind of painting with... Um, so you can do this kind of painting um, with different kinds of characters you don't have to paint a dragonfly but just to give you an idea of what you can do so, and that's what it's all about you know you you look at somebody's art and then you pick up an idea and then you put your your idea your um, input into it and and then um, it's something completely different and nice and hopefully better. It's all about improvement. And 
I recently came across someone who was blaming somebody else for copying their art and I was just thinking, oh my goodness, really? How can you copy this? Like, you can't copy this. You can try to, but it's not going to work. Uh, not with resin. So, it's just ridiculous. I'm, I'm happy. If, if somebody wants to try and, and do this, please email me or show it to me because I'd love to see, you know, people try something that I've done. I think it's a, it's a compliment to me. And, you know, if you, if you do it um, and you're happy with it, then I'm happy with it. And if you do it and it's looking better than mine, I'm even more happy because it just means that, you know, my little practice run with this um, encourage somebody to, to have a go and then do a better job. Ultimate, ultimate um, compliment. You'll never offend me, I can tell you that. Not by doing that. I try not to overdo it with these colours. They are nice. Now what I want to do is I want to torch it a little bit. And I'm going to get a little bit of this clear. Just around here a little bit. See so yeah, how it breaks it up a bit. And I have to be careful here. Because this is pushing back, so I've got to push it over this side's okay, just the other side. Can be a little bit tricky sometimes. I'm going to go ahead with some more of this um, lovely champagne colour. It's really pretty. Don't want to put too much of that violet, although it is gorgeous, but I think it's a bit too much for this. I'm actually going to go over here a little bit as well. And then I'm just going to use my hands to move these a little bit and to blend them up a little bit because they they give a really really pretty shine and a really pretty effect and somehow anything that has to do with dragonflies um, looks swirly kind of you know so that's what I'm doing I'm just going to do a couple of swirls and mix these together Same here. So I didn't plan to do this. I usually just go with the flow and go with whatever this painting is telling me it wants to do. So that's all I'm doing. I'm trying to keep an eye on things that I want to preserve, which is sometimes not an easy task because paints are moving resin is moving rather not paints but um, hopefully it'll be okay so see how those swirls are looking really really good I'm happy with that
And you can't do that with um, a lot of power, a lot of pigments, you know. Powders are just great. Trying to push that in there a little bit. Okay, so that's looking quite pretty. That needs a little bit more of that green, which looks like a, it's a bit got a bit of pearl in it, which is quite pretty. And now all I have to do is keep an eye on this kind of thing and just keep pushing it out of the way until it stops moving. I know this is a pain, but it's because I decided to go over these wings with clear. And now I've got to watch it. So in the meantime, everything is going to move while it's setting. And while that's happening, um, I'm going to just keep watching this because my poor dragonfly looks like he's drowning <laughs> in this pool of swirly bits, which is not what I want. Okay, so I'll keep watching this and then I'll bring you back when it's all done. Fingers crossed. Now that will work. Now this will work. Look at that. Now it's looking magical. Now it's looking much better. I have to clean my hands. I had to do something because um, there was going to be a problem and I had to prop it up. It's actually really cool that um, the permanent marker is, is running, which uh, it looks pretty good. So what I've got to do is, because I've got that cardboard underneath there and it's popping too much, I've got to push it down a little bit. There we go. The mix of these three colors is absolutely amazing, actually. It's really cool. Okay. So I was just pushing that resin off, off the wings because it was just everything was just flooding in there. So now that that's lifted up a little bit, I can add some more of this resin in there. It's actually given me quite a bit of time to work, which is pretty cool. A little bit of the champagne in there. Just using up what I've got left. Okay. 
a bit over here. Sometimes you have to improvise. How crazy did that look? <laughs> so I've got to work very fast now, obviously, because not a lot of time left. That nice transparent green. That's good. I'm happy because I can see my dragonfly now. So what I'm going to do is just go around with the heat gun. Heat gun's too hot. I'm going to use my hair dryer. trying to push that out of the way don't want anything on my dragonfly so these little black things that's just that uh, permanent marker which resin is obviously melting it down a bit and moving it which is fine I don't mind that it just seems to work well with this, I'm not going to touch that because I'm going to mess it up. See if I can add some more of this green here just to camouflage that bit a little bit. Get over here. Now it looks sideways and looks good because it's lifted up, it's elevated, and it looks really good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around with this. Um, Clear here. There you go, you never know what's going to happen. You just never, never know. Always tilt sideways so you can see what you're doing, making sure that you're covering everything. I'm so pleased. I really thought that was going to be a disaster because I didn't want to lose my wings. They were, you know, well, it took me a lot of work to fix them up so I didn't want to lose them. I'm glad that um, it's looking good and they're a little bit lifted, lifted up. And resin's going to start to really thicken now. The eyes are still popping up, which is cool. I like that. So everything is looking okay now. Thank goodness. Popping the bubbles. Getting rid of them so it's nice and smooth. Okay. Wow, that actually looked pretty cool. So now I will just. Should I? Shouldn't I? Yeah. For sure. We do like our swirls. Just creates a little bit of magic in the resin. So, 
Oopsie. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that up. So if anybody's interested who is not already in my Facebook group, do join us and connect with other wonderful, amazing artists who are always there to, to help with any advice on supplies or techniques. I, I'm quite involved in there as well. I just find it hard to reply to everybody on who contact me through Facebook or off my page or my private <laughs> private you know page I just can't keep up with with everybody and so if you go into the group um, you will likely find me there or other artists who can also help we have a lot of artists there who do resin and do it really really well and they can help so join the group search um, fluid art community with Susanna Danks and you will find us there and then just ask to join and either Laura or myself will accept you and then you can share your artwork enjoy people's art and um, ask a lot of questions and get a lot of uh, uh, answers all of the our people well most of us um, we're really happy to answer questions we don't keep secrets from anybody so don't be shy join us and um, if you would like to see any more of my art just go on my website susannadanks.com and get into the gallery and there's lots of different types of art there from contemporary to fluid art urban art I did pretty much everything <laughs> over the years so go and have a look if you're interested in any workshops with me you can also find that on the website i do online workshop as well now so hope to see you there anywho i'm just going to keep playing with this and uh, i'll show you when it's all set uh, what it looks like so i'm glad i saved that Whew you okay so I decided that my dragonfly needs a little shimmer so I've decided to sprinkle actually I've got some in my hand here I just decided to sprinkle a little bit of this color changeable pigment over it and that should really do something interesting I'm trying to do it really thinly because I don't want too much on there ah so then once I get that bit of um, heat onto it and push it into the resin it should should give me a pretty cool effect so I might just sprinkle a little bit out here so it looks like this lovely shimmer is coming off the wings as it's flying a bit over here okay so just got to get rid of this one keep it on the wing and then give it a little bit of heat and push it down. I'm just going to step away because it, it might fly away. Fly okay, so I gave it a little bit. I don't want too much, so I've got to flip this around to the clean side. And just push them over, over the top. And I might just 
feel a little swirly. This is just a, a, a color change, color changeable pigment. It's given it a really nice shimmer, but it's supposed to do four different colors. So it depends on the angle that you're looking at it from. It will do the do the trick. Hopefully, we shall see. Okay, dab those down a bit. We'll see. It's getting a little bit thick now. Thank goodness. So I should be safe now.